I yes. Bet. I'll, uh, ooh. Thank you, Mr. Like a Biker. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that's all we have time for today. This is Jason Mason reporting from Sunny Sands. Back to you, Sid. <laughs> mm, thanks, Jason, and thanks, Mr. Like a Biker. Let's catch up with them right now in Sunny Sands. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. was wearing his Captain Dumbletwit costume. Captain Dumbletwit, off to save the universe. Just then, Mum came downstairs. She was in a bit of a panic. I'm in a bit of a panic. Jason, Jemima, can you tidy up in here, please? Our special visitors are due any moment. The special visitors were Grandpa's old friend Gilbert and his granddaughter Martha. Oh, you're going to love Grandad Gilbert. He's got a great imagination, you know. Will he play Captain Dumbletwit with us? Oh, for sure. We'll be able to act out one of Captain Dumbletwit's space missions. If Dumbletwit can do it, so can you. <laughs> Little did we know it was going to be Captain Dumbletwit's toughest mission yet. Oh, I can't wait to show Grandad Gilbert my treasure chest. We used to play with all these toys when we were boys, you know. We were best friends. We even had a special greeting, which we always did. Teeny beanie zacker racker, bing bong, what a cracker, slipper slapper, pop a lopper, om pom pop. <laughs> Grandad Gilbert and his granddaughter Martha were at the door. Martha! Gilbert, how wonderful to see you! Teeny beanie zacker racker, bing bong, what a cracker, slipper slapper, pop a lopper, om pom puff. <laughs> you all right? Well, it's our greeting. Our, uh, don't you remember it? I can't say I do. Oh. Do you always dress like that? What? This? Oh, I'm being Captain Dumbletwit for the kids. I, I made Grandpa the costume. We couldn't find a big enough one in the shops. No, I don't suppose you could. Come along, everyone. Do sit down. Come on, Martha. Grandpa hadn't seen Gilbert for years and years. There was a long pause. Nobody knew what to say. Then I thought of something. Grandpa told us about the games you played when you were boys. He still got us all toys, look. Hello, Gilbert. <laughs> Monkey Albert. You must remember Monkey Albert. Can't say I do. There was another, even longer pause. Grandpa was looking fed up. Grandad Gilbert was looking fed up. Then Jemima thought of something. Do you like Captain Dumbletwit, Martha? Yes, it's really funny. Oh, great! Why don't we all play the Captain Dumbletwit board game? I don't like board games. You children can play if you like, but not down here. You'll be too noisy. So Jemima and Martha went upstairs, and I went to fetch the Captain Dumbletwit board game. You must come and look at our garden. Maybe you can give me some ideas. I doubt it. So Mum took Grandad Gilbert out to show him the garden. Ideas, huh? Gilbert used to be full of ideas, but now he's grown up and lost his imagination. And we are going to try and help to get it back again. And there's only one way to do it. Not the shaking cup, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! You know what it's like when Grandpa shrinks. He can get up to all sorts of things. He can ride off in my car. He can fly off in my plane. So what would he get up to dressed as Captain Dumbletwit? Come on! At that moment, Mum came back in with Grandad Gilbert. Where's Grandpa? He must have gone for a little lie down. A little lie down? Well, I've come all this way to see him. I'm sorry, he has quite a lot of lie downs, I'm afraid, especially when we have visitors. Oh, well. At least I can finish my crossword. Great. I'll make a start on the lunch. Sausage, beans and jelly, all right? Of course, Grandpa wasn't lying down. 
He was standing right above Grandad Gilbert. And Grandpa, being Grandpa, was bound to have a plan. While Grandad Gilbert was busy doing his crossword, Grandpa crawled towards the Dugit puppet. Of course, I had no idea this was going on because I was having fun with Jemima and Martha. There was certainly no fun going on downstairs, but Grandpa was about to change all that. He had got right inside the Dugit puppet. I decided to check on Grandpa, so I tiptoed to the bottom of the stairs. I'm Dugit, Captain Dumbletwit's alien pet. Oh, yes, very funny, Jason. I'll go away. I'm trying to finish my crossword. Grandad Gilbert thought it was me. I had to get Grandpa out of Dugit. Give Captain Dumbletwit his spaceship back. But I was too late. Oh, do stop this nonsense. This was a disaster. Grandpa was stuck inside Dugit. Any second, Grandad Gilbert was going to find him. I had to do something. Let me go! Let me go! I knew it was you. Now stop it. Really? The good news was that Grandad Gilbert hadn't seen Grandpa. The bad news was that he'd shut him in the treasure chest. I had to get him out. Oh, no, you don't. Upstairs with you. Go on. There was nothing I could do. I was really worried about Grandpa. But Grandpa, being Grandpa, was bound to have another plan. I've run out of sausages, beans and jelly. <laughs> Won't be long. I was right. Grandpa did have a plan. And now Mum had gone to the shops, he could put it into action. Let me out. Let me out. Please let me out. Jason? Please let me out. Thanks. <laughs> oh, we're just getting mighty stuffy in there. Name's Dumbletwit. Captain Dumbletwit. Grandad Gilbert thought that Grandpa was an amazing toy. What an amazing toy. But then he tried to grab him. Grandpa ran, and Grandad Gilbert ran after him. He watched Grandpa run along the shelf and peep out. Then he lost him. Grandpa jumped onto the chair. Stop. Come back. Come here. But Grandpa had other ideas. Suddenly, the lights on Captain Dumbletwit's spaceship started to flicker. <sighs> Grandpa had climbed inside. When Grandpa's small, he can use his magic to make my toys go. Sometimes it's my plane, sometimes it's my car, and now it was my spaceship. Grandad Gilbert couldn't believe his eyes. This time Grandpa had gone too far, and he was about to go even further. I've never seen anything like it in my whole long life. Who are you? What are you? The name's Dumbletwit. Captain Dumbletwit. I'm on a mission to give you back your imagination. My imagination? Yes. I wouldn't be the space hero I am today if I didn't have an imagination. And you need one too. Do I? To play with your granddaughter, of course. And to have fun. I'm too old to have fun. I've forgotten how. Nonsense. Just remember what it was like when you were a child. You knew how to have fun then. Yes. Yes, I suppose I did. <laughs> Come to think of it, my best friend and I did play some wonderful games. And he started to remember all the fun he and Grandpa had had together. Well, we'd pretend to be knights in shining armour. Or explorers in the jungle. We even made up our own funny greeting. Teeny Beanie, Zacharaka, Bing Bong, What a Cracker, Slipper Slapper, Popper Lopper, Om Pom Puff. See? 
Your imagination is coming back to you already. What did I tell you? If Dumbletwit can do it, so can you. Now you're ready to go and play with Martha. Yes. Yes, I will. Thank you, Captain Dumbletwit. <laughs> you know, you're not as dumb as you look. Martha! Mission accomplished. Martha! Grandad Gilbert rushed upstairs, and Grandpa rushed to take his costume off. You'll never believe what I've just seen. Captain Dumbletwit. He was flying in his spaceship, and he even spoke to me. If, if Dumbletwit can do it, so can you. That's what he said, and he's right. Um, um, I, 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 I think I'll just go and see if lunch is ready. I ran downstairs, just as Grandpa took off his cap and came back to his normal size. Grandpa, what have you been up to? I've been on a Captain Dumbletwit mission. It was a tough one, but I think I succeeded. And thank you for rescuing me from Dujit, by the way. I did what I could. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. Soon, Grandpa was back in his normal clothes, and everyone was downstairs. Oh, Grandpa, you've woken up at last. Oh, did I miss anything? Yes. Grandad Gilbert's been telling us brilliant stories about meeting Captain Dumbletwit. I did meet him. I did. He was right here. He, he flew the spaceship and everything. I told you Gilbert had a fantastic imagination. How about we play with the treasure chest? There's some wonderful old toys in here. Oh. I remember this old boat. We could sail this on the pond. I love playing with boats. <laughs> Will you play with us, Grandpa? Uh, maybe a bit later, Martha. I'm too tired at the moment. Tired? But, Grandpa, you haven't done anything. Fly. It has butterfly wings, an elephant trunk, tiger stripes, and it has a snake's tongue. <laughs> it lives in a house and it eats leaves. It lives in Africa. It loves flying and it's going to floods in the aeroplane. He's going to visit the cats who are his friends. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. It walks near the water and it can't cross with its legs so it flies over. It likes sleeping in the high trees all the way up to the clouds. That's our amazing animal! Before we head off to Nara, why don't we do some yoga? Come on, join in. This move is called the surfer. Stand with your legs wide apart, bend one knee, put your arms out, and we are surfing. Surfing on the way.